Welcome on in, Heat fans. Tobin here with you. Thanks for checking us on out. Your Miami Heat. It is very, very late. It is 103-97, your final, as they fall to the Denver Nuggets in an NBA Finals rematch. Valiant effort by the Miami Heat. They were able to uh, get this puppy all the way down to a four-point game, uh, to a two-point game at the very bitter end. Um, Four-point game where they really had a chance to you know, hit a shot and make it a game before playing the foul game. Uh, he get it to 99-95. Terry Rozier, who was really big in making it close. He had some big-time buckets down the stretch in the last couple minutes of this one. Hoists up a three-ball, air ball, and that was, a, uh, that was a rough one. Now, KCB comes back. He misses it. He run right down. Jimmy Butler cuts it to within two. But there's only about eight seconds left, so they got to start playing the uh, the ticky tack foul game. Joker ends up hitting both, and um, the Heat have one chance, and Terry Rozier goes off of his leg, and they are not able to to really get an effort to make it a game. But you know, the one thing I'll say about Miami, first of all, um, very much big picture, great road trip, Miami Heat. You know, I, I said in the outset going into this road trip I'm like you're finishing off a road trip in Denver <laughs> not bloody likely you're gonna win that game it's a, always been a very hard place for Miami to win they do not have a great history winning there that's not even when they are now the defending champs and have the the reigning MVP favorite to be the MVP now they did have something both teams had things going against them tonight Denver was on the second night of a back-to-back, which Miami did get a little bit fortunate on this trip with, with getting uh, three matchups with teams on second night of a back-to-back. But on the other end of things, you know, the Heat did have to go into this one. You didn't, you know, they lost Jamal Murray in the midst of this game after he hit this crazy ass three uh, in the first quarter. And the Heat, they go into this one. They did not have their backup center and Kevin Love, who's been amazing on this road trip. And they did not have a uh, Tyler Hero who has been dealing with the knee hyperextension since the first game of the road trip. So definitely some adversity both teams were facing going into this one. Uh, it was a it was a pretty ugly game from an efficiency standpoint. You know, both teams shooting forty two percent from the field in this one. Uh, neither team really lighting it up from three. Although Denver did hit five more three pointers than Miami, which was a big swing for them. Um, in a lot of key moments, Michael Porter Jr., even with the loss of Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr. played like a superstar today, uh, which was interesting because he was a, he was a damn ghost in the NBA Finals last year, and uh, he lit it up. I mean, he it really felt like, especially through the first three quarters of this game, um, Michael Porter Jr. was just basically unstoppable. In fact, uh, he scored all of his points through the first three quarters. I think he was held scoreless in the fourth quarter, oddly enough. Um, but he he really buoyed them. And I, and I think probably tonight, you look up and down the box score, even including a guy like Nikola Jokic, the, uh, the most efficient guy in the court tonight by far was Michael Porter Jr. Everybody else was just having a, a rough shooting night, a second out of a back-to-back. So... I know there's going to be a lot of oh ifs at dude. This was a this was an offensive struggle. You got you think about a guy like Joker. He was six of fifteen from the floor tonight. Um, you know, Bam and Jimmy they both missed ten shots apiece. Um, so there were opportunities there for for Miami. I think the big story in this one, from Miami standpoint, is you know, it, it remains for Jimmy Butler. This remains the team that probably gives him the biggest headaches because of the size they possess. He just looks very, very uncomfortable going against this team. Um, you know, and it's like those seven, those seven makes that he has to go for. Like there were a few where he just got to get scot free willy nilly, but when like he actually has to get bogged down and go find a bucket against this squad, not easy for him. Not easy for him. Aaron Gordon gives him fits. Uh, you know. Big Moose, probably one of the best prototypes you can put against it. And there's not many of those guys in the league that'll physically stand up to Jimmy like that and can move with Jimmy. And he's one of those guys. And he and he and he makes it difficult. And that's a, a very, very big team that Miami does have to go with. You know, Miami does skew towards the smaller size of things. And, 
you know, having to go against a team that has, you know, three guys and at least 6'10", it's a tough challenge. Um, out of the gate, though, the thing I, I like of what Miami did in this one is there were various stages of this game where I think that they could have pulled a, a, an old heat from earlier in the year and just been like, nah, not our night. Teams, uh, you know, getting off to a hot start. KCP came out and, and he was lighting the world on fire from three. I mentioned the Jamal Murray three off the window. So there could have been times where Miami really packed this in, especially after they got down in the first quarter. By the end of things, they were down uh, 36 to 20 after that crazy ass three. But, you know, they had had the monster start from downtown. Miami couldn't hit anything to start these things. And, and, and once again, little by little, one of the things I liked is Miami chipped away. They made the, the, the hard plays. They were causing havoc. They were causing, I thought Jaime Hawkins jr. Did, you know, though he, he also did not have a great shooting night. He had a couple of plays in the second quarter that just, you know, getting into passing lanes, causing steals and getting easy buckets for his teammates did a great job, did a great job finding uh, Nikola Jovic, who, you know, had some moments where his size was a real presence. Obviously, he's not going to play in crunch time, but, um, you know, even Jovic, like, I think in a, in a series like this, you know, it's it's going to be, I, I think it was a good reminder to Miami, they're going to have to keep playing the kid. And there's going to be matchups and teams like, you know, going to Kayla Martin as your starting power forward is not going to cut it. And it's not that Caleb's not going to have impact. I just think it's a bad recipe. And they should still go in the direction of, of getting a lot of things from Nico. Um, but second quarter, they did a, uh, you know, they did a really good job of, of chipping away. They cut the deficit from 16 all the way down to five. Uh, Terry Rozier, it, it, it was another great showing from him of like he is going to get a lot of flack for tonight, I think, for Heat fans, because he could not hit a three-point shot. I mean, and Reggie Miller was was mentioning this. He's just like, he just doesn't look like he's got the lift. It, inside the arc, he was tremendous tonight. Like, getting to the free throw line, his mid-range game, getting to the rim, all of that was amazing. Uh, his three-point shot was not there at all, outside of one in the third quarter that made it a two-point game. Basically, the closest it had been all game. Terry Rozier ends up uh, getting this crazy ass three, where it was uh, it was a a what was it? It was Bam. He uh, Bam made it a five pointer, and then the next possession, uh, Bam, he goes out there and he's trying to get a bucket on the rim. He kind of gets stripped. Ball gets loose. Terry Rozier ends up with the loose ball. Runs to the corner. And shoots the three, and he makes it a 63-61 game. I was like, "Jeez, that was uh, that." Yeah, that was the only three he hit tonight, and yeah, he had some he had some rough rough ones. And obviously, the most memorable one came at the end of the game, where he has the uh, the air ball late. And there definitely were a couple of moments where you know Denver did. They had a couple of times where they did a great job defensively coming out of heat runs like there was a lot of heavy hitting back and forth and one of the things you respect about Michael Malone and what he's able to do with his squad is whenever things do seem like they are getting out of whack very much like Spo like he can flip things and, and get his squad to, to to dig in and make things very very uncomfortable flatten you out and and get you know just an awful shot and can't get anybody decisive on who should take the shot. And that that there was a there was like three possessions today where that happened with Miami where they were riding high momentum and Denver had some kind of a stop to 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 bring with them. So that was um you know that was one of the things with this game where it, you know yeah, you could look at all the missed shots you want. But man, that's a that's a tough team they got to go up against. They really are the team that every Heat fan should probably have the most respect for in the league. Like, look, when the Heat fan is cocky and you're talking about the matchups against Boston, you know, the matchups against Giannis, and all, like, there, it's with reason. You've seen your stars go out and you've seen them beat their stars. And with Denver beating that giant Goliath on top of his role, guys, and didn't even have Jamal Murray tonight, um, it's a challenge. It's a challenge. You just know how the thing. And, and by the way, Miami did a very, very good job for the most part tonight on 
Jokic uh, up until the end of that game where it was a, a nice little battle back and forth. I thought for Bam, there was a difference between Bam, it, 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 you know, I, I you're going to look at the box score and you're going to say, Bam, Jimmy basically had the same game, but they really didn't. I, I thought that, I thought that Bam was never uncomfortable in this game. There were maybe times where maybe he was rushed. There were definitely some times he got absolutely, I don't want to bitch too much about the officiating, but there were definitely some times he got absolutely mauled and he was getting no calls. It, it was complete bullshit. But there were, you know, I felt like a lot of his misses were just like, they were right there for him. He was getting good looks. I didn't think Bam was ever put in, I didn't think Bam was put in uncomfortable positions by the Denver Nuggets. And to his credit, in the second half, he really settled down and he had a much better second half offensively where he was really a non-factor in the first half. In the second half, I thought that he really, uh, really gathered himself and hit some big buckets. There was, uh, you know, there were there was one where, you know, they're right there within four and Jokic comes right back, gets a bucket over Bam. Bam comes right back, gets a bucket right over him. I thought he was game for the battle tonight with Joker. Um there was the one huge play where Joker just basically Bam gets a, a huge shot over Joker over the window, makes it a seven point game, and then Joker just basically throttles him right in the face, and they call an offensive foul. But they, he couldn't take advantage of that. This was one of the ones that was a killer. It was um, it was a great defensive possession after the offensive foul. And I, I thought there that's where I'm like, that's where Jimmy needs to take it. Like Jimmy has to put will get to the free throw line whatever and uh he ended up getting it to terry who had a a aaron gordon switched on him and they just had no shot there and then they ended up with kcp hitting a three made it a 10 point game now once again he's credit they rallied and they came through but this is like when you're in in their building in such a tight game you know these are the types of things that are going to decide it and um and that's you know and that's uh that's what it was. You know, Denver just had a couple more plays better than Miami tonight. Um, and certainly an ugly played game, a physical played game. Um, but all in all, great road trip for Miami. They still have to, uh, they'll get another matchup with Denver, I think, later on this month. Um, but I will say, you know, I, I don't think he fans, like he fans, do yourself a don't, don't crush Terry Rose here tonight. Like, first of all, he uh first of all you know when Tyler Hero comes back I, I don't know how many of those big time buckets late Terry is gonna get but Terry also had some very very big buckets too that like brought Miami in like in this run that got up to that point where he was he airballed the three he had some nice ones that was that 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 came through with some big time buckets and he was feeling it he just couldn't hit it beyond the arc tonight to save his life so I do think you're seeing a Terry Rozier who's who is starting to uh to to get it going a little bit. You know, but there are times where once again, whenever, you know, this you know, once they get settled again, like it still needs to be Jimmy. Jimmy's the guy that makes it go. Jimmy is the bread and butter for this team. This is a particular matchup that he has to get over the hump with. Um, even Pat Riley mentioned this, like, I know a lot of people go to last year and they say, well, Jimmy's ankle was messed up. We all are very mad at Josh Hart for what he did, but Riley said in the press conference, he's like, look, he did not have a finals that was up to snuff. He could have played a lot better and he's, he's got some things to figure out in this matchup. He does, uh, Bam does too, you know, Bam, you, you can't afford in, in, in matchups like this. And it's tough to ask because Bam's got to go guard the greatest player on the, on the planet. Um, but you know, you, you can't afford to have too many missed easy ones that are right there for you. So anyway, it's very late. It's one, uh, one 15 in the morning. I got four hours to talk about this later on today, but, um, all in all really great road trip. Um, fun game, ugly game, but fun competitive game back and forth. Liked seeing Miami battle back every time there was adversity. You just wish there were a couple more plays that would have went their uh, their direction to uh, to get this one. But hey, newsflash: that Denver team's really f good. So 
give some props to them on the uh, on the other side as well. Um, and I will not cope and uh, complain about the officials all night. I will not do that. I'm going to try and grow as a person. Okay. Everybody have a great rest of your night. I'm going to go get some shut eye and then wake up and have a Friday where I annoy the holy hell out of Leroy. <laughs>